Welcome back, guys. Hey. Happy <laughs> Friday. Yeah. So, the last video we left you off, we did a lot of insulation. Yeah, story of our lives that day. <laughs> That's all we did almost the whole day was just getting the ceiling insulation on mm -hmm. and trying to close everything in. Yeah, make it look normal. Yeah, well, somewhat normal. Yeah. We still got a lot of stuff to do in the ceiling. <laughs> yeah. Um, this morning, me and Roxanne, we just hammered out and got our bedroom done because that was the last room that needed to get done. We did, it didn't take us too long. It took us about an hour, I would say. Yeah, I would say. And it wasn't really that bad of work to do. No, it was pretty easy. Yeah. And uh, just get that knocked out. And now I think we are ready to start playing in the mud. Yeah. Kind of a thing. <laughs> so uh, this is going to be a long process again. Yeah. Um, we got a, the whole house is drywalled, obviously you guys know. Yeah. So there's going to be a lot of mudding and taping and sanding and mudding and sanding. And more. And all that good stuff. More mudding and. <laughs> but that's okay. Yeah, it's all right. It's not a big deal. This is the best part. <clears throat> yeah, because we can see the finish line coming here, guys. Yeah. A lot of stuff. And like we said, we are ready to get out of that camper and move in here. Wyatt really needs this bedroom right here. Mm -hmm. That's where we're going to start on his room first. Yep. Try to get as much done as we can today, guys. Um, you know, the turtle and the slow one wins the race kind of a thing. So yeah, or whatever they say, and there's well, no slow rushing and steady, slow and steady guys. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> slow and steady. So I say, let's get it. Yeah. Let's get it. So this go round, we're gonna try some of this ultra lightweight joint compound that we got. Yeah, big bucket of it. Yeah. <laughs> and we were looking at it and asking, and people say it's good. So they said it's easier to put on. It's not as heavy, and it really isn't as heavy, like compared to the other five gallon buckets. Like weight size. Yeah, weight. Yeah. And uh, and this time also we had a subscriber a while ago. Send us some of these. Okay, a trowel and a spreader, and a knife, a putty knife. Yeah. And he said he felt bad because ours were all rusted and. You know? Yeah. I mean, you just clean these off, so they're and not. He's like, yeah, he's like, you need to use the stainless steel ones, and we did. We had um, some stainless steel ones, but they still got a little bit of rust. But I did go and use uh, my sander on it and cleaned up as much as I could. So they are in a lot better shape. Yeah than they were before. Yeah, a lot cleaner. Yep, so. Also, too, mm. we're gonna use regular tape instead of the mesh tape this time around. Oh yeah, we ain't using no mesh tape. We got a whole bunch of this paper tape. Yeah. Um, and I think um, this is gonna be a lot better and I like it better anyway, so. Yeah. All right, on with the, the mudding and taping adventure, guys. Yeah, it's <laughs> exciting right now, but here in a couple days it probably won't be as exciting. <laughs> That's all right. like the other stuff <laughs> it does go ahead fly fly in there it should, no let me stuck in the drywall forever <laughs> <Not ever. laughs> all right well guys <sighs> I know people say you can add water and different things but I like to just Put it in here and mix it up inside here and use what the product is. Because I don't know, you know, I don't want to add too much water or too little. So that's what I usually do is just mix it up in here. And it gets pretty mixed up. So. Alright, you ready? First of all, 
time is, to do it. Yep. First seam in the house. This is exciting. <laughs> now I know you haven't lost your touch because you just were over at Melanie and Gary's not too long ago explaining to them how to, you know, showing them your technique, you know? So I know. I'm, well, I'm not a pro, so, but yes, I'm just trying to fill all this these cracks in real quick right now. And I'm sure there's a proper way to do this. This is how I've done it. This is how I'm gonna do it. Right now, I can put more on blue tape. You need the bigger trowel, or no? No. Tape on. Don't criticize me too much, guys. I'm sure there's a, some of you guys that do this professionally, but I don't. I will say though, probably by the time we get done with the house, yeah. we'll have a better understanding of how to do drywall. <laughs> oh, I'm sure. <laughs> I mean, we have a good understanding now. We've already done. We did Thunderdome. We've done the laundry room. Our bathroom. Yeah, it's fun times. Yeah. That's all I gotta say. <laughs> not really. <laughs> no, no. Yeah, not really. All right. I have the tape stick. Yep. They have like a machine. Put a bunch of putty in it and stuff, too. and uh, you just go and it like covers the whole thing. Oh, really? Yeah, it's like super quick. Huh. Oh man, we're over here doing it by hand. I know, way. I know. You have all these new and advanced technologies for that kind of stuff, but I'm sure it's expensive. Oh, I'm sure. Yeah, so it is what it is. It is what it is. Well, so far, it looks really nice. <laughs> right there, right? Well, yeah, it's better you discovered it now versus. Oh, I know. After you've been trying. Well. Nice. Put enough on higher, you know? Yeah. Even like right there. I guess just go crazy with it. I mean, you know? Put it on there nice and thick. That's what I do. Yeah. No, it looks nice. Well, Anthony is going to do the seams. And I'm going to go ahead and go around and fill in all the little screw holes. <laughs> Well, yeah, and well, that's a big job. It is a big job. It's a lot of uh, screw holes to do, you know. And then uh, maybe if I finish them before you finish, I'll help you. I think that came out pretty good. Yeah, I think it looks nice. It's not bubbling up nowhere, so we're good. Yeah, good job, baby. Oh yeah, all right. Oh, your trowel is not as bad with the rest. Well, uh, <laughs> with the dried up. Oh yeah, you can stuff. wash. You can wash it out. I know it's all right. I got it. 
I got it. Got it. I'll use the little one. Well, we were just in the bathroom not too long ago because I know it comes after the drywall part. The mudding and taping and putty in. The sanding? The painting. <laughs> I know, I'm kidding. I know, you're right. It is sanding, which is going to suck. Everything's going to be super dusty in this house. Yeah, it's alright. I'm just going to have to... I don't know. <laughs> Look at that. One whack at that one. Yeah, good job. Really good. Like that. Because I'm using like a billion pounds of this, <coughs> excuse me, of this joint compound. <laughs> it's like, it's like I ain't messing around. Yeah. Oh, you're staying. Yeah. You ain't going nowhere, Tate. Yeah. Well, that's where we messed up before. I know. We didn't put enough. Spend the extra time standing. I will. Because having your drywall tape bubble up on you or blister or whatever they call it, I think really makes it look bad. And so I'm trying to avoid that as much as possible in the house. Yeah, I really like it to look like a wall, right? Yeah. Smooth and sweet. Yeah, I need to So that's what I'm doing here, guys. Tons of mud, tape, and scraping it out and sticking it on there. Look, and it works really good. guys can see we have a little helper today miss Sylvia or Syl as we call her she's in here catching bugs and stuff having the time of her life watching us work my huh, baby's kitten yeah see <laughs> you know baby every time with this blue drywall we've been doing it in here I just look in here when it's like the joint compound I'm like oh look a bunch of clouds everywhere yeah it's all, it's all cloudy <laughs> it's pretty blue skies with pretty white, blue sky. white puffy clouds puffy clouds <laughs>
good progress, I think. Oh yeah, I'm almost done with one room. Yeah, um, Anthony's working on the first corner <laughs> in the house, so that's exciting. And I'm going around through the bottom here and I'm gonna do all the tape work down here. Um, I figured if it's on the bottom, if we put trim on there, it'll hide it a little bit better so I'm better at the bottom portion <laughs> for the Good. bubbles. <laughs> Oh, doing the bottom? Yeah, so I was like, so I'll just do the bottom, you know? So, look at that. It's beautiful. <laughs> at least it is right now. Hopefully it doesn't like dry out and then get the bubbles in it. I hope not, but I think I did a good job. I'm not an expertise like Anthony over here. I'm not an expert at all. <laughs> He's better at it than me. <laughs> I don't think so. Yeah. I but think we're pretty similar. Yeah, we're good. We're good. Uh, so we don't really have much left to do in here. Just the corners and then the little trim on the bottom. Do you think Wyatt will be excited to see his room puttied? <laughs> I mean, probably. I mean, he won't really understand, right? Like... I mean, he will. Like, we do this, but it's almost gonna paint time. First corner is about done, guys. The first of many. All right, we got Wyatt's room all finished with the mudding. First coat. First coat. First room, first coat. First room, first coat. <laughs> <laughs> and it looks good. Oh, uh, it looks like a big cloud. Yeah. I know, it's so much fun, huh, guys? Yeah. Joint compound. You don't think how we feel. <laughs> <laughs> mudding. <Just kidding>. <laughs> <laughs> no, but what do you guys think? It came out pretty good. This is only the first coat. Like I said, we got a lot more coats to do to make sure this is nice and smooth. Yeah. But nothing's really bubbling up. I've been keeping an eyeball on it. No, and it's like there's no, um, like how the drywall may stick out further because you didn't put the butt joints together. Yeah. I don't see any of that going on in here. No. Yeah. So I think we'll be good after like the second coat or so. And you guys may be wondering why we're not drywalling the ceiling in here. Well, our plans have changed for that. Yes. <laughs> so we've been talking about different things and we're gonna do something different on the ceiling inside the bedrooms and inside the living room kitchen. Yep. So just have to stick around and see that. Yeah. <laughs> but there is another really cool thing I wanna show you guys. Um, we're gonna have to get busy and clean up this gigantic mess in here. Yeah. And you can't even walk through here. Yeah, we pulled everything out of our room and Wyatt's room and through it in here <laughs> yeah it's a, it's a gigantic mess right now so we're gonna have to clean this up before Wyatt gets home and he gets home fairly soon i would see yeah about fairly soon yeah. but we did get some really cool stuff i want to show you guys real quick so we went to ron's and what we ordered was if you guys were wondering if we were going to do it but <laughs> we ordered our skirting yes <laughs> <laughs> so it's just it's really heavy so we haven't moved it yet but here is our skirting with the trim and all the different stuff that goes with it. Mm -hmm. Corner pieces. Corner pieces. And it's going to look really cool, guys, if you guys want to see it. We have one piece just kind of leaned up over here. Yeah. It's not attached enough. It's just leaning up against the side of the house. We want it to go with the same type of color scheme for the outside. Well, it was leaning. That's what fell. So, um, oh, that might have been what the wind was. Yeah. So we picked black. So basically, I mean, around the house, it's going to be like that, which I think looks really nice. Yeah, I think it's going to match very well. The black skirting with the black trim on the house. Yep. I'm really excited 
to start getting this installed, which is very soon, very soon. Yeah, because we know winter's coming, but we want to get a lot of stuff as much as we can inside the house done first. Yeah, I, real quick, I seen a comment that somebody asked if we strapped down um, the house. Yeah, we. And I just wanted to yeah, point we, out, yes, they are, it is strapped down. We did that last year. Yeah, we did that a long time ago. So it is strapped down, guys. There's six earth anchors on the house. Mm -hmm. um, one on both sides and the middle is on the other side. And Thunderdome is strapped down too. Yep, Thunderdome is strapped down as well. Earth anchors, There's a, one of the whole videos we did was basically the whole day we were doing that and it was a pain. Oh man, that was... We did it by hand, me and Roxanne yeah. guys. And these, these anchors right here, these right here, those are four feet long. <laughs> they're huge and yeah. they're giant auger bits, think of it that way. Yeah. And me and Roxanne, we had to t hand turn them four feet into the ground together and it was a major pain in the butt. Yeah, that was a lot of physical work we did that day, but mm -hmm. we got it done. So a little weekly update on the flocks over here. Yeah. Oh, the ladies and gentlemen. Eggs. Yeah, we gotta check for eggs too. I see you guys knocked over your food again. So anyway, the the hen flock, they're doing great, as you guys know. Now they are giving us lots of eggs. They look really it's like, happy. It's like five a day at least, but not all of them are laying yet. I don't think so. We should be getting an, an increase in that. Um, don't know when, but should be. Yeah. And so they're happy. The roosters in there are happy. Everything's great. Now over here is another story. And here goes Frank, probably. I was going to say, he's all flapping his wings. He's going to start crying. Yeah. So over here in the boys' coop, though, is another story. So I know that when you put all these men together and roosters, right? No, they're going to be fighting and different things. But what really makes me mad. Hey, don't be getting crazy with me. Like up on what you. really makes me mad about these guys is because I raise these guys, you know, from chicks, all of these guys. <laughs> but notice how there's a bunch up in there. Paul, which is a black copper moron, he's in the front and the back over there, the big comb. Do you guys know? <laughs> you guys notice how I got hanging feeders up high? There's a waterer, there's a feeder, right? <laughs> Well, all of these guys in here, except for this guy over here, they literally 100% refuse to get out of this coop right here. They won't. And it's because we have a bully in here. This guy right here. No, he's in the cage. He's right there. Shanti. Oh, no, he is in there. Yeah. Well, he's a bully too. There he is. I'm sorry. He's up in there. That's him. Well, all the ones that are outside are bullies. Yeah. And so they won't let them come out. Oop, oop, don't fall off. And so the second any one of these guys <laughs> come out, especially Paul, the black copper moron, if he comes out within 10 seconds, okay? Within 10 seconds, they are ganging up on him, uh, treating him like a female, and that's how my last one died. So I've had to literally put a hanging water feeder in there, a hanging feeder in there because they refuse to even get off of that top roosting bar. And it really makes me mad because I'm trying everything I can to get these guys to get along. But I know it's animals, it's how roosters are. You know, there's the, you know, the king of the coop kind of a thing. But for them to beat each other up that bad, I didn't realize roosters were that mean to each other. I didn't know. I knew they were, they could be mean. I didn't know they were that mean to each other. Yeah. Okay? To where they'll kill one all the time and they'll gang up on them. And like I said, treat them like a lady. Okay? Like five of them on one. I didn't know that happened. I had no idea. And I'm not ready to process these guys yet but it's okay. on your list. Of it's on my list. I still, I'm gonna buy, I need to buy a plucker, an electronic feather plucker. I wanna get one. And I already have like the scalder for the hot water. 
and all that stuff. I'm just not ready to do it yet. I don't have the plucker is the main thing. Yeah. And I need to get somebody over here that has processed birds a lot to try to help me out and teach me because I can't even really watch YouTube videos about it because there's not that many. Yeah. They get blocked all the time. Hi, Reed. So anyway, that's some bad news for me. It's very uh, frustrating to me, guys. Yeah, well, it's sad. You know, I mean, they hang out on the roosting bars pretty much all day. You know, I mean, that sucks for them. Yeah, and if you guys know me, I love these chickens. And even though, I mean, those guys over there are here for a reason. Yeah. They have a reason for me. meat. Okay. But to see one or two of them get picked on so much where they won't even get out of the coop. Yeah. Like they won't even get out of the coop. And I would just remove the bully that starts it all. But then what's going to happen is they're going to have to reestablish uh, who's the boss. Yeah. And that's going to start all over again. Yeah. Well, I was, I mentioned, I said, well, couldn't you cut that, that coop in half? You know, that way the good ones can have one side and the mean ones can have the other. But Yeah, but then they'll be separated and then someone's going to have to be the boss of the nice ones. Yeah. And then there'll be problems. And it's all over again. And then... Yeah. That's <laughs> it's me it's messed up because I can't even move like uh, Paul back into here because I already tried and Medina and Frank instantly went to go beat him up. Yeah. And then Reeks in there too beating him up. So it's like I'm at standstill. <laughs> uh, we're gonna go check for some eggs, but we're not gonna grab them because we make Wyatt pick them up. And still haven't put on the hinges that caffeine got us, but that's on my list for this weekend, I believe. To get done, but let's see, guys. Hmm. Oop, there was one in there. I scared her off. Three, Three eggs. Two. Two eggs. Six. Six eggs. Today. Six eggs. So far. Yeah, well, you scared one out. She's I did. She's probably busy. I don't know. She might have just laid this one. Is it warm? Yeah, it's warm. Look at these guys. This is great. Some olive eggs. I love these eggs. Easter eggs. And black copper moron eggs. Ooh, one of the girls laid yep. one. We're gonna leave them here until Wyatt gets them. Wyatt gets very excited after school. I think he really does. We tell him to go check the eggs and he grabs a basket and starts running. Yeah. He's like, I'm gonna go check, I'm gonna go check. Yeah, he wants to see how many, we well, we take guesses too. I was saying, he always asks us to guess. How many yeah. eggs do you think they're gonna be today, Dad? How many eggs, Mom? How many do you think? I said a million. He's like, yeah, right. I said, and I told him to, I said, Wyatt, I hope you like having eggs for breakfast from now on. And he's like, that's fine with me. He's like, as long as you make me one of those steak omelets you made me that one time. <laughs> Remember? Yeah, spoiled kids. <laughs> <I know. Steak. sighs> so we're going to go clean up inside, guys. Start of this video is probably a little shorter than normal. It's just how it is sometimes. It's yeah. not that fun to watch drywall yeah. oh, joint perfect. compound. Yeah, taping. And... Yeah. But we're making progress. We are, guys. Oh. This is a big step towards uh, finishing it, you know? Got to love it, man. Yeah. We appreciate you guys being here, and we will catch you all in the next one. Bye. Bye.